Welcome back to Gin Reviews from South Florida. Tonight we're going back to the United Kingdom to do Richmond London Dry Gin. All right, Richmond London Dry Gin is distilled in the Grinnells or Greenells Distillery. We're coming in at 40%. The region is Europe, of course, United Kingdom. It's classic on the nose, and the base spirit is unknown. No, 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 I misspoke. We are 100% grain, so corn is our base spirit. Uh, botanicals, this says there's eight here on the bottle, and I found eight, so here they are. Almond, Angelica, Cassia, Coriander, Juniper, of course, Lemon, Licorice, Orris Root. Not bad, huh? Sounds like the other, uh, it sounds like Greenell's uh, flagship gin, exactly. Uh, well, this is a total wine uh, purchase here. I have not seen this bottle outside of total wines. Um, now that's not saying that they don't sell it anywhere else, but usually it means here in the state, it's a bottom of the gin shelf uh, gin and yeah, there's not too much out there uh, on its origin, which makes me happy because I love doing a review on gins that no one really knows about. Here's the bottle right here. Not bad, it's pretty strong. On the back, it says Richmond London Dry Gin, a unique blend of eight hand-selected botanicals. Enjoy its fresh and clean citrus forward flavors, earthy aromas, and warm spice finish. I mean, in a perfect world, wouldn't that be what we're all looking for in a gin. <laughs> all right, well, uh, let's open this bastard up. I do like this whole thing, even though it's not a cork, I do like that. I don't know, the Union Jack on a, on a screw cap. <laughs> all right, on first inspection, very clean, very, very clean crisp in a way, if you know what I mean, by looking at many, many gins in a glass like this. Right away, I can tell the legging is not too bad. I mean, it's not too sugary in it. I got a feeling it won't be that sweet, which is, you know, sometimes nice. Hmm. Okay, Juniper up front. Exactly. It's exactly like Greenell's. I'm wondering, me thinks that this might be actually just Greenell's gin bottled in another bottle for a lower price gin point, but Greenells are pretty expensive, inexpensive anyway, so, eh, you never know, maybe this is like, maybe this is the heads and the tails of the gin, and they're trying to get rid of it this way, I mean, I would think they would just redistill it, but what do I know? Okay, so the juniper is definitely up front, I do also detect some citrus in there, um, it, taste or smell sorry so it smells more like a lemon than any other citrus um, and there is a little bite of a pepper note on the back end of this solo huh? For a 40% bargain gin, it's not bad. Not really a burn. I mean, from what the burn is, it's not really anything. Um, that being said though, it's very clean and very crisp. At the first uh, travel, the juniper is right where you want it to be for a martini, for a gin tonic, for a court survivor, for a bee's knees. Um, I'd probably stick away to for Negroni if you're trying to go that route with this gin. It's just it won't hold up against the Campari and the Vermouth as that. We're gonna do ourselves a nice, nice gin and tonic. That's well deserved after a few pretty bad ones. <laughs> Alright, so we're gonna do about two and a half ounces of our Richmond gin. And uh, to that, let me just Gonna open up a new tonic. All right, good. No problems there. All 
Perfect. Now, there's always something. As you can see, I already had the grapefruit in there, and I'm just gonna kinda squeeze what I can. Trust me, if this was for someone else and not myself, I wouldn't do it this way. But, it's kinda hard when I'm just working like this, so. But again, I put myself in that situation, right? Okay, so I got some lime here, and I'm just gonna go pull fruit here. I, I think uh, this style of gin, in that it is a lower on the gin shelf gin and on the price in the wallet, which is nice. Um, I find that just uh, adding your citrus right away, citrus right away is probably your best bet. Got a little lemon here because these gins are usually not, they don't have more juniper or more citrus or more heat or more floral. It's just pretty balanced. I mean, that's what they're striving for. I understand that. So, hey, salute. You to me, you to me, you to me, me to you. That's right. Salute. Okay, yeah, I mean, this, this, this gin, right there that gin right there is perfect for this application this is a beautiful if you're having like a beach day or a pool day or something outside or it's summertime really hot or uh, you have cabin fever and you've been stuck inside uh, you know you can't go out because it's like 30 feet of snow <laughs> I've been in both situations, both at the same time actually. One day I was doing that, I took a flight back down to Florida, it was in the 95 degree, and I had gin at both times, the morning with the snow and the, uh, you know. And so this gin and this tonic and everything else in this bath right here is beautiful. This is uh, really nice for a, you know, lower on the gin shelf, bargain gin. I know you're probably having a drinking game with me saying that today is perfect for this application if you're looking for something with uh, a little more bite i would go higher um probably more towards like bee feeder around that okay around that uh, range bee feeder would be probably where i'm going if i want something with a little more bite you want to do maybe not just your standard gnt but you want to do you know your martini or anything else but again this is one of those bargain gins it's not bad um i guess i'm the first one to do a review a proper review on uh, on this platform here so i hope you take it as that and if you see it out there in your travels it's worth you know 15 bucks that's pretty much what i paid for it's worth that and uh that's about it that's all i got here so from here from me to you to you to me everyone else here in the middle of the stage from sea to shining sea I want to wish you a wonderful night, morning, beautiful afternoon. Thank you for coming in and uh, enjoying another cocktail with me. Many, many more. Five o'clock. Be here. Be square. And uh, if I can ask, please uh, subscribe if you don't mind. It helps out everyone all in the end, you know, with the algorithm and all that. All right. Take care. Salute. And one more thing. Yeah, bastards. Bye-bye.